Hey guys, I am Froggy2k9, and this is my submission for the commentator competition. As you saw in the title, or the intro to this video, it says I'm going to be doing my top 5 games. So, here they are. Minecraft, Bioshock, Left 4 Dead, Borderlands, and World at War. Now I'm going to give you some reasons why I like those games. Right? Why they're my top five favorite games. I can't really put a a top favorite game. To be honest with you, those are in a random order. Those are not any structured order. Just random. Because I can't tell you what my favorite game is. Because when I'm in a different mood, I feel like different gaming. As of when I recorded this, I was in a zombie mood. And when I'm in a zombie mood, we get to rounds that are like in the 30s, in the 40s, stuff like that. First one I said was Minecraft. Reasons I like Minecraft. Everything is blocks. It's so simple. You don't need any anything else but blocks. Everything's made out of blocks. It's a really fun game. And I like simplicity. Which is why I which is why I went for Minecraft. Not even sure that's a real word, simplicity. I like things being simples. Simples, you know? It's just simple. Okay. Everything simple is great gaming. So if you if you're a game developer out there and you want to make a game, design it as simple as possible to start with, and then get more advanced. And you'll you'll attract me to be honest with you, because I'll be all over your game constantly. I love simple games; they're really fun to play. The fact that it got a really old timey feel as well makes me makes me happy I, I like I like the bow and arrow the sword the armor it's like takes me back to some some of the good old days when you just used like axes and stuff to murder things the creepers the spiders all those sort of animals sort of get to they get the game to be a bit more adventury and more of defense type of game than it was creative but since they had creative mode, I'm liking it a bit more. Talking about creative, creative is another reason I like Minecraft. Being able to create anything you like is absolutely amazing. Just to create anything out of blocks. Anything you can think of, you could probably create it. As long as you don't mind it looking like a block. <laughs> anyway, Bioshock. Bioshock, the reason I love Bioshock and I get really into Bioshock and I can sit there for a good hour, good two hours, and just play Bioshock. Even though I've played it a thousand times already, I can sit there and play Bioshock all the time because of the story. The story and the way the game plays. The way the game plays is absolutely amazing. It is, it really is. Being able to switch switch up your ideas with not just weapons, not just grenades, not just equipment, but you've got these things, these magic things called plasmids. And you can throw fireballs, you can throw bees, you can turn the floor into some sort of super explosive geyser. It's it's amazing, it really is. I love it. And the storylines, oh my god, the story. The story is orgasmic. It really is. The guns as well. And now I found the 50 caliber Thompson to be most amusing. 50 caliber Thompson. Yeah, okay. Okay, now Left 4 Dead. Have you ever been in Call of Duty and you thought to yourself, no one's working as a team in here? Well, Left 4 Dead, you have to work as a team or you will definitely lose the game. Being able to being able to sit back and kill hundreds of zombies is really fun as well in survival mode. And the customization ability, you being able to swap out sounds with the with the add-ons ability, being able to swap out textures, skins, a lot of fun. Borderlands is the next one I said. Borderlands. It's insane and it crosses the line. It really does. Nine toes? Well, he also has three testicles. Yep, he also has three balls. Wow. Well, that's that's a really crossing the line. There's many, many other points in that game at which it crosses the line. It's just absolutely insane and fun. Last one I said was World of War. I love that game. If it wasn't for the MP40, probably the most balanced game in the probably the most balanced Call of Duty come out. Definitely. I say def 
Definitely. It's also the introduction of zombies and custom maps for zombies, which was, as you can see, I love zombies. Anyway, wrapping it up now. The teleporter fails here, and the game ends. So I'm going to leave you off with that and give you back over to Evade.